guys, welcome to yet another episode of our weekly podcast at the end of the day. And as you know, this podcast is a guide for the recently arriving immigrants in the US and we bring you new episode every Sunday. So as always, I am Deepika Shrestha. And I am Anuj Thapa and with us today we have a guest, Anil Jong Sahi. Anil, welcome Hi. to our podcast. What's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to, be, uh, good to have you here. Uh, well, thank you for having me here. So. Mm. <laughs> okay, by the way, we are recording this podcast in the studio of Anchor App in Manhattan, New York City. So we are really thankful to you guys for letting us record this podcast. We are so excited. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, to give you some uh, information about who Anil is, Anil is from Nepal. He came to the United States in 1989 and now he is doing his graduate studies in human rights and culture at CUNY Graduate Center. With Anil, we'll be talking about how being flexible and being open can help you adjust in new culture and in new environment. So Anil, why exactly did you choose this topic? When I first came here, I had preconceived ideas about, you know, the worldview. Mm -hmm. Because I grew up in an environment that was, I must admit, kind of like a privilege. I had this very narrow uh, views on certain things in life, so, uh, in society. And uh, that's how I landed here. Mm -hmm. Within a few years, I, I've been here for 30 years now, uh, I started learning, you know what, it's not going to work that way. Okay. You know? And one thing I always tell everyone who comes here is that despite all the problems that this country has, mm -hmm. uh, like right now, okay. with you know, all mm -hmm. the political situation going right. on, it is still, I think, in my opinion, the most diverse. Mm -hmm the most open and most uh, democratic society. It provides you that kind of platform, mm -hmm. you know, the openness platform. Yeah. And, and if we can make the best use out of it, mm -hmm. uh, try to open ourselves. Continuing the conversation from what you just said, even today, despite the, doing these podcasts, mm -hmm. even today, and I'm trying my best to be flexible and be open in New York City mm -hmm. so that I can mingle along with the diverse community of mm -hmm. New York. But then I always have this preconceived notion about who that person from that country is, how yeah. that person would be. So how do we get over this kind of fear? Uh, one personal example I can give you is yeah. like um, I drove a yellow cab mm -hmm. in New York City mm -hmm. for quite a few years, mm -hmm. right? And you might probably know a lot of yellow cabbies, they try to avoid black people. They still do that. I mean, it, it's been a ma major complaint about minor from the minorities. Right. You know, they don't pick them up. That is because they have this preconceived idea mm -hmm. of who black people are. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And then whatever, all these negative ideas mm -hmm. about who they are. I used to be one of them, too. You used at to first. be one of them. Yeah, right. at first. After I started realizing this idea of, you know, mm -hmm. appreciating, embracing the other. Mm -hmm. And then it's not easy at first, obviously. You mm -hmm. know, you, you grow up with certain type of, you know, stereotype about others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you've grow, spent all your life believing in something and mm -hmm. it's not easy to change. Mm -hmm. But one thing you have to constantly at least keep trying is empathy. Empathy is more like, I put myself in yeah. your shoe. Yeah, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I try to feel, see things from your angle, from your point of view. Mm -hmm. And then what do I see? Yeah. I maybe not 100%, but I, I would at least see things from your perspective a mm -hmm. little bit. That's how I started thinking about, you know, yellow cab and black people also. Okay. You know, I would put myself in a position of a black guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm trying, let's say, in a heavy rain, right. mm. stormy situation. Yeah. You just want to get home. Right. Yes. Right? You're standing out there mm -hmm. uh, trying to hail a cab. Mm -hmm. yeah. No one stops for you. Right. You know, how would I feel? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would feel like totally humiliated. I mean, not only humiliated, angry and right. humiliated, you know, all these feelings. I mean, and then I, I, I told myself, why? I, I wouldn't want to go through that. So if I wanna, don't want to go through that, why would I let somebody else yeah. mm -hmm. go through the same thing? During all those years that I worked as a cabbie, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I picked up a lot of black people, a lot of white people, you know, everyone. Mm -hmm. There are bad white people also. Right. Bad Asians. Mm -hmm. There were Asians and Hispanics and white guys who didn't pay me. Right. Who would just run off. Mm -hmm. You know, just as bad. On the same footing, mm -hmm. there were a lot of nice, I mean, really awesome 
black people too mm-hmm. like, that I picked up. Mm-hmm. And when you make the comparison out of, let's say, you know, dozens of black people that I picked up, mm-hmm. maybe I had problems with one or two or maybe three or five. Mm-hmm. So why would I, you know, give all the rest? Mm-hmm. You know, out of 100, if five people are bad, why would I let myself have that preconceived idea of the, all the other 95 people being bad? So that's how conflicts start. Yes. I think empathy is the key here. Mm -hmm. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Be open about embracing diversity, embracing Mm -hmm. different views. Just for example, if you meet uh, uh, an Asian guy who who is not a South Asian like us for the first time, and you might have preconceived notion about that person, right? So when you meet him or her for the first time, how would you start a conversation? Uh, I don't think it needs to be like... In a very specific way. That, again, is a preconceived idea of mm, right. how to start a conversation, right? right? Yeah. You just go with the flow, I think. Mm. You know, just say hi, whatever, yes. you know, okay. and then however it starts and then wherever it leads. One of the reasons that people don't do that is fear could be one of them, right? And um, maybe your unwillingness mm-hmm. to be open. So that rigidity in you mm-hmm. to just close yourself, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, And also the rigidity not to allow the possibility of your idea of something being wrong. One thing I have realized uh, is when you start a conversation, if you want to approach somebody and you're not as comfortable, but you want to do that conversation, I would say start with hi and then with a smile. Mm -hmm. I think smile works really well here, Mm -hmm. at least in in New York. Mm -hmm. Right. Because nobody smiles here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. If you smile at a right. stranger and that really leads you to a conversation. Right. Yeah. Because right. I Very have true. I have done that several times. It works, really. Again, that smile, I think it signals that you're opening up yes. right. to that yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. And then the other person sees that, mm. you know, sees that you're opening up. Yeah. Mm. And then obviously they would feel like, okay, I can you know, I can feel comfortable with this person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Anil, mm-hmm. for those who want to approach you. Um, for any kind of guidance. Would you like to share your email address with us? Of course. Um, okay. It's my first name and my last name together. A-N-I-L-S-H-A-H-I dot E as in Edward, T as in Tom, mm-hmm. E-T mm-hmm. at gmail.com. Make sure you write at the end of the day in the subject so that he knows mm-hmm. where the emails are coming from. So on that note, it's time to sign off and keep following us, keep watching us and spread the word about the podcast and for uh, watching the earlier episodes, please lo- go to our official website, which is podcast at the end of the day.com. Right. And one more time, we bring new fresh episode every Sunday. So, <laughs> bye-bye. Bye-bye. bye guys. Hey, guys. A quick note. If you have a personal story that you think might be helpful to the newly arriving immigrants in the U.S., please contact us. We would love to feature you in our podcast. Go to our website podcast at the end of the day dot com and write to us by going to the feedback section and by the way if you love this podcast you can support us with a small donation your help will enable us to continue producing more episodes the link to support our podcast is in the description below